Hey everybody, Pully here for some Pully Plays Games a Bit, a series where we play newly released titles for a bit. So today we're going to be playing <clears throat> Hi-Fi Rush from Tango Gameworks. We're going to be playing it on the Steam Deck, which is why you don't have any noise right now. Uh, should we come through now for you? Okay, anyway. Yeah, Steam Deck doesn't have any background music or anything like that, and I always forget to set it up. Anyway, we're going to be playing Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, what is Hi-Fi Rush? So... According to the blurb on the Steam page, Feel the beat as wannabe rockstar Chai and his ragtag team fight against an evil megacorp that rock his rhythm combat. From Tango Gameworks comes Hi-Fi Rush, an all-new action game where the world sinks to the music. So, Tango Gameworks, this is a bit of a departure for them. Uh, they're probably better known for The Evil Within. Uh, and that's it. Evil Within and Evil Within 2. That's all they've made so far. And was Tango Gameworks responsible for Ghostwire Tokyo? I think it was. I think it was. That might have been somebody else. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, uh, Hi-Fi Rush is a huge departure for them. It's going to be very colorful, very fast, more like a uh, brawler type, Devil May Cry kind of thing. On Steam right now, it is sitting at an overwhelmingly positive, uh, both recent and all-time reviews. 15,000 all-time reviews, overwhelmingly positive. Most recent reviews, 570-something. Still at overwhelmingly positive, so... Players certainly like it. Uh, what do the critics think of it? So, it's currently sitting at an 89 uh, top critic average and a 97% critics recommend. That's practically everybody recommends you play it. That means it's a mighty game over on Open Critic. Eurogamer recommended. IGN, 9 out of 10. PC Gamer, 69. Nice, out of 100. Metro Game Central, 8 out of 10. Games Radar Plus, 4 out of 5. Game Informer, 8.8 .8 out of 10. GameSpot, 9 out of 10. Destructoid, 7 out of 10. All pretty high, other than that 7 and... I mean, 69 is nice, but I'm sure they would have had it. I'm sure they would have wanted a higher score. Uh, Eurogamer's Ed Nightingale. This is back when Eurogamer wasn't doing numbers. They were just saying recommended or not recommended. Uh, is recommended. Uh, vibrant and self-assured. Hi-Fi Rush happily embraces the naughty's cheese and is all the better for it. IGN's Michael H Higgum. I am. I am. Uh, 9 out of 10. Hi-Fi Rush marches to the beat of its own drum with stunning animation, lovable characters, and stylish rhythmic action that are anything but one note. Uh, PC Gamer, just with a lower score. Tyler Cope, 69 out of 100. Despite its killer opening act, Hi-Fi Rush fails to sustain its blend of rhythm and action all the way until the end. Okay. A lot of games have that issue. Uh, a lot of men have that problem. <laughs> anyway, Metro Game Central, 8 out of 10. Uh, no byline, once again, which makes you wonder who actually wrote it. Is this an AI writing these things? A very welcome surprise that is one of the most enjoyable, unique games on Xbox and one of the best rhythm action games in a very long time. It's also on PC. Zero as well as having arguably the best... Yeah, okay, this is some weird machine-written... Games Radar Plus is Josh West, 4 out of 5 stars. Hi-Fi Rush is a harmonious cacophony of raunchy rock and roll and character driven action. You can't have a harmonious cacophony guy. Look up the definition of cacophony. Game Informer, 8.8 .8 out of 10 from Blake Hester. Considering the game was announced and released on the same day, Hi-Fi Rush is easily one of the most surprising games 2023. Part of this is literal. The other more important part is just how good the game is. Hi-Fi Rush finds a magical sweet spot between rhythm games, stylish action and lighthearted character driven platformers we don't see very often anymore. And by every measure, it comes out on yeah, we don't see those kind of games very often anymore. Take note, other AAA developers, please. Anyway, let's jump into it then. So I will shrink. Dinky dink. And we'll jump into the game. And hopefully everything runs fine. According to Valve and according to uh, ProtonDB, everything should be running flawlessly on Steam Deck. We shall see. Our mileage has varied many times on the channel, trying to get things to work on Steam Deck and trying to get them to be even playable in some in some instances. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As usual, the first time you launch a game, and this is proof that I haven't launched the game before, uh, it takes a while to load. The game is currently in offline mode. No, it's not, but okay. Can I even click this with a controller?
mind. It is actually in play mode. Fuck's sake, Steam. Why do you do this to me? Even Steam. It's the Steam Deck. And I'm not really sure why it does that, to be honest. I think it has something to do with its proximity to the router, like, or the modem. It's like practically sitting on top of it. Just the setup I have, I can't really do much about it otherwise. Um, but yeah, I think that's the reason why you just don't get... Um, why the internet connection seems to flake out every now and then. Makes me worried about... It's not! It's in online mode! A good start. Good start to the stream. Thanks, Steve. It is online. What is the problem? <sighs> serious right now, Steam. Are you being serious? Not really wait for you to do this in two minutes. How do I speed this up? Checking for updates gonna force you to connect to the Steam service. No. We're doing real-time troubleshooting. Everything was fine two minutes ago. As soon as I fucking connect the Steam Deck to its dock, everything goes fucking shit. I can clearly connect to the servers here because I'm getting this info. So what is the problem? Why have you lost an internet connection? You just had it. All right, I'm gonna have to take it out of its dock. I'll be back in a minute. You know what? I'll just be back in a minute. Uh...
Hopefully it's working now. At least I've got the game to launch. I think that's about as good as we're gonna manage. Fucking... Fucking Steam Deck. I swear to God. Sometimes I think... I really should just bite the bullet and get a gaming PC, because... It seems to be a little bit more trouble than it's worth. I'm just dipped up in the audio there a little bit. Right, anyway, Hi-Fi Rush! 15 minutes later, we're getting into it. Fine. Please read below if you want to post videos of your gameplay. Streamer mode. We work the music artist to create a streamer mode, which, okay, fine, I'll do it, I suppose. But I guess keep in mind that the music you're listening to mightn't be the same. we need to go through. Now, what I kind of find unlikely, we'll see. No. <laughs> okay, I was wondering if they would have a, a, like a, a PlayStation option or a Switch option, but obviously not. This is a first, technically now, a first party title. Microsoft, so that's obviously not going to be happening. Okay, have a sense for rhythm? Not really. But not quite sure of your action game skills? No, I, I, I'm the other way around, I think. As long as you stay on beat, you should be able to go up against challenges and come out on top, just in case. In this mode, auto action mode can be enabled. Okay, and what's easy mode then? Struggle with high speed action games, or is keeping the beat not your thing? This mode eases the margin for error on timed action, softens enemies, and allows you to turn on auto action mode. Hard. High fire rush combines rhythm timing with high speed action. Feel you can handle both. This is where you should start. A good bit of challenge testing your abilities. And that's very hard. Okay, I have no rhythm. I'm white. <laughs> Project Armstrong. Which Armstrong? Hopefully it's not Senator Armstrong. Next. Next. I said next. Huh? <laughs> you should really have noise cancelling headphones Try, for that. Is it that way you'd actually yeah. be able to hear the person. But it does. Rockstar. <laughs> Future Rockstar. It's not a profession, then. Are you done? Uh, yes. Uh, whatever. Here's your Project Armstrong Pass. And welcome to Vandalay Campus. Yes! Obviously, again, do keep in mind the music you're hearing is the streamer mode music. It's probably not the music you will hear on the actual version of the game. Also, I think I might need to take a look at the resolution, because we're in a box. Let's just see if the game it's, uh, when we get into gameplay, it's like this or not. Welcome, applicant, to Project Armstrong. Technology perfectly fused with the human body. Together, we create better lives. The CEO of Vandalay Technology, Kale Vandalay. Bad guy, Bane bad guy. What a historic! He doesn't day. seem very rock and roll to me. You're the best of the best, and about to be even better, thanks to our robot enhancements. Vandalay has always been about helping those in need, and you all in Project how did we Armstrong get on here? are about to show the, the best world of the best just how something? special you can become. A lot of young people in the audience. Get ready for a better life. Robocast? Uh, I'm with him. 
Special pass here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they just called my name. Very short fuse on these people. That's a hell of a jump. Getting a magnetic grapper, huh? Cool. Always wanted one of those. Oh, there's some bosses. Promised me the best of the best, Mimosa. Production asked for test subjects, Kale. Marketing delivered. Don't pin it on Ricka. Tell that grandstander Zanzo in R and D. We need people with influence, and you're giving me losers. <laughs> It'll work. It better. Owning an iPad no or iPod makes you loser. And no defense. I'm not sure if this guy is a villain, honestly. What a piece of junk. <laughs> Executive producer Shinji Mikami. Worrying. <laughs> Oh, okay. Does it just get slammed into our body or something? Uh... Ugh. I'm not sure I'd want to have an Apple product embedded in me. I'd have to like swap it out every year for a ridiculous amount of money. What? Hang on, go back. What was that third thing? <laughs> well, it works. Didn't even have to think about it. An error has occurred. Please proceed to the checkpoint. Okay, checkpoints. Where's that? Ah, don't worry. Probably no big deal. Where's everybody else? All right, we are still kind of in a letterbox, so... Let's check graphic. Oh, I can't change it. Not ideal. Mm, change this to... Okay. Eighty-eight hundred is a weird one. And turn to sideways. Look, we'll just go until I see a save, and then we'll change. It. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Not the top button. Did you come to check out what a great job I did stacking these boxes? Why is he Irish? Where were you looking for the exit? If so, one hundred eighty degrees. Behind you, lad. Thanks. Unnecessarily Irish robot. Okay, gotta jump. Got jump. Uh oh. Boing. Oh dear, my cleaning has caused an even greater mess. Indeed, scrub. Your jumping, however, was impressive. Thanks. Oh man, that surgery drained me out. I have to fall on the snow. Heal up. Consume energy drinks to restore Chai's health. Ah, that hit the spot. That's where we were. Chai robots. We told you no more than ten boxes at once. Look at what you have done! <laughs> Surely we will face consequences. It has been a privilege working with all of you. Sorry, Carrie. Double jump? Double jump. Please collect your belongings. Hey. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. What clothes? We're not in clothes. Yeah. 
do we have a pre-ripped shirt to make room for oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we have a pre-ripped shirt, okay. Wow. Or a pre-ripped jacket even. Was it ripped when in the opening cutscene? Hey! Alright, kid. Robotic arm, Alex does 75, magnetic waste management a fixture. Wait, magnetic Me? waste management? Foreign object morning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. Uh, is that a weapon? Uh, I think it's our waste management so. stick. I think he's resisting. <laughs> <laughs> You've activated the Steve Jobs sense. Look, it doesn't normally do this. Did it create a guitar out of it? Yes, yes we are. I bet this is syncs to the actual music properly. Okay, luckily the dodge button, even though they didn't tell me what it was, it's the same as it is for Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Just want to play it right what now. What is going on? <laughs> Straight back down. <laughs> if I'm getting this right, first, music player in my chest. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Right. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous. But when the music kicks in, it feels like, like. Like I'm on a stage. Whoa. I know. I'm in my underwear. All right, everyone. Ready for something wild? Sure. Whoa. Chai's here. And his attacks sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack. A one beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead, try it out. Now try a combo in beat to the music. This will be what perfect timing feels like. Tell me when you're fucking going. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Look at you. Perfect timing on that one. Oh yeah. Your attacks always land on the beat, but press the attack button exactly on the beat to give bonuses in battle. Looks like you're ready for more. Head on over. I'm not sure this crowd all came here just to see me do the tutorial. Did you? Is this really what you made your tickets for? You got scammed. I'm not associated with Ticketmaster. Uh, we have an air dash. Nice. How about delivering some real damage? The heavy attack. This one takes two beats to land, so listen carefully for the beat in the middle. I got this. Try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Ready. What a pro! You got it. 
There's no on-screen visualization oh, yeah. for the... Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Like uh, Crypto the Necrodancer or something. Are you sure they're saying Chai? They could be saying Shice. Is this the guy? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. How are they both Saber 001? Oh, uh. <laughs> Anyone see the guy that did this? That's the defect! What? No, no, We're all no, looking no, for no, the guy no, who did I this. Just... Chai has a, a hot dog costume. Here we go. Every time. Pick them off! On screen, like, indicator would be nice. around for the perfect timing. The world engages, moves to the beat, use it for reference, timing is key, relax and feel the beat when playing. Adjust timing icon. Look for this icon and hear the audience cheer to know when you tap. Okay, so I actually did a few on time. If you need some help identifying the beat, yes, give me that. Well, right, where do I find that? that? Was awesome. But I should probably get out of here. You know, I need to focus on the combat and not on the environment. Although, it's a cool idea. Is there on screen? This one. Uh, accessibility, maybe? The visualization no ways. It's like multiple visual representations of the Apparently this sign provides a white now. Possible we don't have it until we do. Well, we'll do our best. Hello! Big Moss of Production Ricky here! here. And what's this I hear about a DD that's running wild in the record zone? Hey Rekka, hit me. No gets out of protection. Not on watch. Okay, clearly not someone I want to run into. Hello, doggy. Hello there. Can I be of assistance? Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, what are you? Vandalay Smartbridge VASF07, but commonly known as Smidge. Not very catchy, but I can analyze your well-being and guide you to satisfaction. Let me indulge. Hey, no indulging. You seem to have musical robot powers. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to explain your malfunctioning abilities? So it seems your problem may be attacking enemies to the beat. I wouldn't say it's a problem. Attacking enemies on the beat does more damage, so I sense it is beneficial for you to do so. For sure. some people, the beat is hard to find, like inner peace. But here are some tips. Your attacks always land on the beat. And since it's beneficial to attack on the beat, pressing the attack button again when your hit strikes is the perfect time. Okay. Hmm, that makes sense. And that if you need even actually more help, does make sense. it seems you have a rhythm assist. Rhythm assist. Oh, it's... I keep forgetting the Xbox controls. That's the same as the screenshot book. But rather than explaining it, why don't you try it out on me? <laughs> you want me to hit you? I can see it excites you. So please, 
Practice your light and heavy attacks on me. Now let's try a heavy attack. Just like I thought. You can do it. Wow, these fridges are great. You really do know me. They're really I not. I don't want a smart fridge. I look forward to our next chat. <laughs> For that exact okay. reason. I was just creepy. Let me know if you'd like to try again. Gear up. Collect gears to upgrade choice abilities and purchase items. Find gears by searching the environment and by destroying enemies. Got a Boy, new one, actually. Hey, yelling like this is awkward. Can you speed this up? Fine. Fine. Look, Look, I hacked the, the access, access panel. panel. Smack, Smack the switch, switch and come up. up. What? I'm not close enough. Are you being serious? Armstrong turn out to be a real bummer. I want a cool robot arm, not a target on my head. What's up, Smidge? I was watching you down there. You seem very good at dodging. Oh, yeah, I, I think I can do that. Analyzing your personal data, and I can see that your dodge is very versatile. Uh... Apparently, dodging with a beat enables up to a triple dodge, and even pulling items from far away. Interesting. Dodging in the air is not only useful in fights, but also for getting to hard to reach places. But I know what you're thinking. Light and heavy attacks can be chained right after a dodge. I actually wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> of course you were. But make sure to press the attack button right after a dodge. So how about it? Try it out on me. Okay. Well, sorry in advance. Your hits only fill me with joy. But there's still one more move up your sleeve. Fantastic. Now here's a refreshing beverage. I hope I was useful. Uh, yeah, sure. Did I get the beverage? I was watching you down there. Uh, you seem very good at... Uh, yes, you are very busy. I'll just be waiting here if you need me. Did I, did I get the beverage? I guess.
Hello, I'm here. Cat rescuer. <laughs> I rescued your cat, you I think. You help out. Your robot cat. <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. All right, so I'll keep this quick. Uh. I saw you fight back there. I think we might be able to help each other. I thought security's all over you, which I could help you with. Stop. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was you back there. You're a cat. No, Rescue this your cat? is 808. She is a cat, but I built her. Look, like I was saying. You know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is um probably better off by myself. Why wouldn't you want a talking cat, dude? Listen, Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help. Thanks, but I'm good. Uh oh. Oh no. You've given the cat even more powers. <laughs> oh, synchronized. No, it's not responding. What did you do? Oh, hold on, did you just feel that? That beat? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Uh, Andy's got a friend. Thanks to 808, Chai's got a new skill up his sleeve. A beat hit. Okay. It's okay. a timing-based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. We've got the, the cat kind of makes a... Sync synchronizer as Let's well. Try it out. There it is, going pro. To land a beat hit, listen to the countdown or look for the two circles. Look for the two circles, it is. <laughs> I'm terrible with audio try cues. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. is awesome! Beat hits are key for doing strong combos and damage. So don't forget to feel that beat. 808, was it? I think we got something going on here. Well, hey, so offer reconsidered, but I'm gonna borrow your cap for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, no you wanted to help, right? And don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. <sighs> you better not run off with her. What's interesting is the, the cat head is always facing away from him. Always. Can't see the front of the cat head. Wait. It's sore to see the front of the cat head. That's kind of weird. It only follows you in this rotation, but it doesn't follow you in this rotation. Anyway. You seem to have a new friend. I hope it has not replaced me. Oh, uh, no, we it can't possibly replace you, Smidge. We weren't friends in the first place. Able to do a beat hit now. Wow. You really can't read into my innermost thoughts. Correctly activating a beat hit seems to unleash enormous power. The musically inclined may be able to just hear the countdown and attack accordingly. But a more visual solution is to wait until timing circles overlap. If you're still having trouble, you can tap the attack button every beat before the attack and still land it as well. <laughs> you just fucking mash it? You'll cool. want to use this one, so I'll be your practice buddy. How about a light combo first? I know you know this one. You guys, Mage. And now let's try that heavy combo again. I want to see you shine. Hold on, give me another shot. Such energy, it gives me tingles. Please enjoy a cool and calming beverage. Delicious. I'll be here I will. If you want to practice more. Smidge told me to hydrate. <sighs> they more refreshing than delicious water, right? That sign won't stop me because I can't read. Are ye? Life gauge piece, a broken piece of a Vandalay power core capable of increasing maximum health to the something 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 four of them. Oh, 
my fourth fortune. Bring it on. Stop swinging that thing around since it's barely holding together. Aren't so bad after all. Okay. Remind me to ask you later how you did all that. You got like it. I know. Loading cat head. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. You see it? So many buildings. It's hard to <laughs> Which tell. one's quality assurance? It's the one that literally says QA center on it. Oh. Ah. Oh yeah. There you go. That one. With that way out, you know, I'm surprised the QA center so isn't a slum, <laughs> considering go. how QA is treated most of the time. Fight to the beat for a high score! By constantly comboing landing beat hits and attacking to the beat, you can raise your rhythm meter. Your rhythm meter can go from D to S. The higher the rank, the better the score. Based off your performance during battle, you receive bonuses towards your final rank. Score, just timing, and time. Score, the higher the score, the better. Just timing, the more times you press things on the beat, and then Time is just how fast you goes. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh shit. Alright, okay, death perceptions being an issue in this game. <laughs> being cocky isn't gonna get you out of here. Uh, the best solution is the most obvious. That's wrong and terrible advice. You're wanted. You need to outsmart them. Then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally yes. the opposite of outsmarting them. I think you underestimate just how stupid I can be. To all employees, Rekka here. This is important, so all caps this time. Kale's visiting the facility, and Rekka knows all you grimy grease hands are fixing your nuts and bolts. Gross get things working, but Rekka wants this place shining on Armstrong Day, and someone spell check those Armstrong scanners! You hear that voice? That's the crowd cheering when those Armstrong units are pumping out to the public. And Rek when Rekka gets her nice bonus at the end of that fiscal, Rekka will be sure to name check you all in that millisecond before Rekka kicks back and gives herself a round of applause. Awesome. I'm telling you, that was Kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. <laughs> actually being in production? Does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it, and let's fix this staircase. Stop being I weird, was just please. Looking around, and it seems like the whole world seems to be moving to your musical superpowers. You know, I was actually noticing that too. Finding the beat is as simple as looking around. Even the environment reacts to the beat. Your battle UI keeps the rhythm if you need reference. Also, the world around you pulses to the beat. Attacking to the beat makes light glow and objects move. 
I think this is what those young people call being in the zone. Maybe? But anyways, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I was planning to check if I could do something about the resolution. Let's do that. Although I suspect not. Yeah, we can't change it. is most pretty much what Steam Deck can manage. Being cocky isn't gonna get you out of here. Uh, the best solution the is the most obvious. That's wrong and terrible advice. You're wanted. You need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Through this stuff since we did it already. Is it? I just wanted to tell you that because you ignored me, I will no longer tell you. <laughs> you don't need to chase me to tell me that. I do. You need to learn your lesson. I am a friend, a good friend, who wants to help. Yeah, I got that vibe. <laughs> to buy anything with it. attack hits wait one beat and then attack again with a light attack to create a new combo you'll know when to press the beat because you'll hear a clap sound and even better this combo will take you and your enemies into the air wow. okay so Sounds delay neat. attacks but i may need to practice really dnd i hope you'd say that definitely cry tmc breath away uh yeah sure That's it! Enjoy a drink! A me, of course. You are being watched. Thanks. Can you not do that? Oh. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I am, like... Like, the rest of me is still human, right? It's just the arm? Uh, I think I found a shortcut. We've fallen into yeah. side-scrolling. Side-scrolling land. We've fallen into 2D land. Whoa. It hit us so hard, we lost the dimension. Huge. It's more like a city. The perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes to show off. But I'm looking for what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. I'm shy, by the way. 
Chai? All right then. Which way do I go? That still seems like it was progress. Okay, robot guy. Seems fine. Rap. Oh, we got our dimension back. Once again, move in all three dimensions. Battery pack production. Read production order for more MD. EGR 0101 unit 31340 over at the lab. Zanzo wants this unit out there for sale today, even though he thought of the idea yesterday. Product name, expanded battery pack for Project Armstrong power units. By design, the battery is made to fail at the six month mark, exactly a minute past the warranty period. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Zanzo wants to put out this battery supercharger to hell with that. I don't know what he wants anymore. He didn't hear from me, but all it does is mess up the charge and wear it out faster. But, FYI, this thing is like a lightning rod. Zanzo didn't want any protective covering since it looked cooler. Or rubber gloves or something. What an asshole. He says, even though we have a literal Apple product in our chest right now. And they definitely don't do that, right? They definitely don't have planned obsolescence built in. Gonna do it. Can't stop me. Oh, you're not dead. That's a plus. Benefit, all right. The opposite, actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? Gross. I can't do that on the clock. Special attacks. Chai can build up energy in the reverb gauge to unleash special attacks. When enough energy is stored up, the reverb gauge will glow to let you know you can launch into a special attack. Right, press the buttons at the same time to activate the attack and consume your stored energy. Attacking on the beat and collecting batteries. Please don't explode. Collecting batteries, yada yada. Some might say. You really are channeling your energy here. Landing beat hits will knock batteries out of your enemies to charge your reverb gauge. But it seems like all the energy will disappear after a battle. Except the like oh, okay, interesting. That much of a charge. 
It's like they say, if you don't use it, you live with constant regret over what could have been. <laughs> Correct? Sort of, yeah, close That's enough. That's not how I remember it. Found that! Retro wants him wasted. So let's waste him. Did not do that. You thought about not doing that? Not sure why I'm collecting this stuff, but let's keep picking it up. Advertise is indestructible, clearly not. Five parts, something, something, something. What are you guys doing? Sleep on a joke? Okay, no, they're not. <laughs> out the generator looks busted could you fix it any tools nearby yep tools got one tool right here actually i got a better idea um and i don't actually mean my dick this time Wait, what when was i supposed to hit it Buddy. 
Never mind. It just does not want me to platform at all. Sick days must be registered six months before desired date. Uh huh. I'll get right on that. Sick days for robotic employees will not be approved. Oh, big boy. So yes, it's not bad, especially since I have no fucking rhythm. Tough enemies won't react to your attacks until you break their stun gauge. Once it's broken, you can knock them back or lift them in the air for combos. You'll need to continuously attack an enemy to break them, leave them alone for too long, and they'll recharge. Okay. Doing back here. You good? Your hands are fucked up. Rhythm games are too hard. <laughs> I want to relax, but you gotta time it right. I'll get back to work. Just one more game. Combining those heavy and light attacks Wait, what? for even more combos and beat hits. I am a in the audience to start. Access a combo list, command list, what have you. Almost out of here. It's the lads. This was easy. <laughs> That's fate, idiot. They're clearly expecting you. I don't know. What? Nothing I can't handle. I don't know. What? They wouldn't just write exit. Nobody would do that. That was done. I used to run this facility. Now. Stuck in boxes. I'll ask her again. Why? Why say, is he Irish? This is a fine stack. A great job. 
Oh, you made a dock. Well, uh, sorry about this, Oscar, but I need the stuff at the minute. You must disapprove of my work. Yet, I do not. Please, I have work to do. Destroyed me stack, and my memories <laughs> remain. Oh, what a good job it was. Big floating head anymore, Bob. Good stuff. I think we're missing a lot with not having the original music. See, just like I thought. It's fine. It's a shame. You need to relax. Would have appreciated uh, the original music. Uh, huh? Introducing the head of production, <laughs> Boss fight with the boss. Oh, no. There you are, man. Messing with Wrecker's crew, Wrecker's production, and worst of all, yeah, Wrecker's perfect, no defect record! Your security tried to kill me! Project Armstrong, EULA. Fine print. Should have read it, punk. Defects get recalled! Oh, uh, recalled? You mean killed? Rekka ain't picked the verbs. That's for the mooks in marketing. I imagine it's for the mooks anyway, in legal, really. Thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. Rekka ain't gotta get her hands dirty. I told you. Yeah, I knew to it was Project a trap. Armstrong defect check, honey. And our QA's the best in the business. Hell! Uh. Faster beat for a boss fight. Hey, buddy. I like defense. That's good. <laughs> I like how they taste. Oh, Th that's worse. <laughs> Inspection level one million. Am I gonna get a proper guitar at some at some point? Chai, his hands are extra sensitive for uh inspecting. Weird way to say hit them, but okay. I will if he stays put. Nice. Okay, 
I don't think you can just dodge those. off at this point. Stick to landing. That uh, three point huh? landing. Oh shit! Uh, Lucky. Uh, huh? Or we moved uh, up. Uh, oh dear. Defects zero. Uh, 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 Ow. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. But this time, just shut up and follow me. We really got to get out of here. I think you understand. This is a music game. I can't shut up. No complaining this time. Only complaining. It's all, all I right, do. All right, all right. <laughs> Hang on. If the cat can fly, why does it ever bother being on a? 
Are you scared? What? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, it is a little dark. Uh, hey, there are no spiders down here, right? Or like robot spiders? Oh, please don't let there be robot spiders. Oh no, worse. <gasps> robot squids for some reason. Nobody knows why. This it? In here. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna fit through the cat, uh, the cat flap. Catbot! <laughs> Why? Hey, what's up? A rope snare? What are you? Cartoon character? Hey, you got caught in that. Ow. So that's where the magic happens, huh? You programmed the cat to be it. affectionate. Wait, it's a bit strange. That voice! <gasps> You're the cat! 808 is my eyes and ears out there. But it looks like she's taken a liking to you. Aww. Wait, 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 okay, she's yours! She's yours! <laughs> get up, slacker. Death. We've got work to do. I can't get up. I am actually paralyzed. I landed fully on the top of my spine. So, 808 said you said you were gonna help me get out of here. I am. Right after you help me look into Spectra. I don't even know what that is. I didn't agree Don't expect this. you to. This is whistleblower level. So... bad? Yes. Good. And I'm bad. working with a team to expose them. We're small, but... Small meaning just you and your cat? I'm bigger than this. Says Rockstar here. Do you even actually play guitar? Maybe. I... Well... Figures. I'll talk. Um... I play the guitar my way. This campus is a maze of hallways... By, by hitting people, is it? Filled with security. You'll need my help to get out of here. Nah. So far, I've done pretty... Well... Hmm. Horrible if it wasn't for me. I don't know. I took well, on that big boss thing. help me... Anybody I'll else done that? I'll make sure you get off Vandalay so. Island. Fine. Whatever, I guess. Perfect. Welcome to the hideout. Enjoy some time but uh, sorry, downtime bleh, downtime between missions at the hideout. Chat it up, relax before the next mission, or just take in the vibe. As your adventure continues, more points of interest will be added, so be sure to take some time to look around. Thanks. Interaction points. Walk around the hideout to chat or interact with things. Some call peppermint a thing. That's a bit mean. Sit down on the couch to move the story ahead. The Ball of Fame at the back of the hideout has goals and rewards for you to attempt as you continue your adventure. This is your hideout? You really are a small operation. You have yeah, your own place? Yeah, we're plus one. You can rest on that sofa. Luxury suite, I see. By the way, I may be able to help you out with some upgrades if you have some spare parts. Let's chat before we head out. Oh, oh, we're, oh it's an isometric section. Big challenges to earn rewards and flesh out a mural dedicated to your adventures. As the story goes on, more challenges will be unlocked. So keep on, I assume that's what's popping up in the over my head. Keep checking up to see what you've earned and what's available. Get all rewards, sure. I got some money for doing something. what I'm looking at here, but okay. Alright, that's the, the stuff we've picked up. It's a big TV. You really shouldn't leave this static image on such a big TV. It's gonna cause screen burn. Screen burn's still a thing, right? <laughs> I, don't, I never I haven't looked into it in a while. Pretty sure it's still a thing. I'm not the master of Vandalay tech, but with some gears, I may be able to give you a bit more fight. More fight? Can you be more specific? I set up a I, shop. I can be very specific, actually. Here you can learn new attacks. You can use them just by buying them. Here's your chance to learn new special attacks. 
Each attack requires a certain amount of reverb gauge, so make sure you have enough before buying. Also, special attacks need to be equipped. You can't just use them all. Ooh. I see. So I'll just slot in my attack and I'm good to go. Nice. And finally, here are items for some permanent upgrades. What's this? I've got an idea for something, but let's just say it's still in pre-pro. How are you doing all this with gears? Don't underestimate me. I can do more than you think. All right. Made Let me a see what you got. Fully functioning cat robot thing. She's fine. All right. From combos. So I have seven. I see there's a left and right there as well over Chai's name. Get other characters. Take out other characters. Not enough reverb for that. Literally just heal yourself. Probably be helpful. Buy a life gauge. What's this? Complete Vandalay life gauge compatible with Project Armstrong parts. Chai's maximum health increase. Okay. Vandalay New Age electric core based on vacuum tubes. It's not very new agey, or it's very new agey, I suppose, in a very different way. Gives a shock and good vibes, and more importantly, adds a section to Chai's maximum reverb gauge. That does also mean it takes longer to fill. This health tank stores enough energy for Chai to recharge a full gauge of life. Activated automatically. Oh, okay. So it's like a second health bar. It's actually more. That's more beneficial than a life gauge. And a special attack slot. Okay, we can't afford either of those two. Could buy this, but it hasn't really been an issue of us needing more reverb. To be honest, maybe more health hasn't really been an issue either. Sit on the couch. Man, what have I gotten myself into? Well, at least it'll be a cool story to tell in five years. You live that long? So, 808s. You seem to be enjoying this. So, does Bob. I'm gonna keep calling him Bob. Does Bob have fur? Or is it like a plastic or steel housing when you pet him? You get like a feedback thing, like from one of those, um, what are they called? Not a Van de Graaff generator, Van de Graaff sphere. You know, like the, the glass bulb that has the static charge around it? I forget what it's called. Anyway. Okay, ready when you are, Peppermint. What's the grand plan? All right, check this out. Mission report. So this Spectra program is, like I said, top secret. Something about James Bond. And only the top brass of the company have info on it. Why are you so worried? Spectra could be anything. Let's just say someone on the inside gave me a hot tip. Sure, whatever. Anyway, we're going to go back up to the production facility. Using yeah. my skills and your powers, we break into the production head's office. That's Rekka. And with our luck, she's busy cleaning up your mess at QA and won't be there. We access our computer, steal the files. I mean, we on haven't Spectra, exactly been lucky up until this point. Cool, cool. this point. Also, Wolverine appears to be in there Great. too. While you're away, I can sync up with your tech through 808. Might figure out some new tricks for you. What? You aren't coming? On a mission this dangerous? I'm not that stupid. I'll leave that to you. All right. Leave it all to the stupid one. Wait. Are you implying? I don't think she's implying either. I think it's very much outright stating. I'm here, baby. Who are you talking to? Huh? My audience. Uh, just head to Rekka's office. 
You can see it up there. Pretty high up. You'll have to head through the main production building, but I'll be your guide. Try to keep a low profile. Come on, 808. Let's have some fun. If you haven't noticed yet, uh, Chai, Peppermint, uh, the characters, at least the hero, the hero characters are all named after types of teeth. I know there's Chai, I know there's Peppermint, there's also a Honey Ginger, I think. I don't know all of them, but I, I know a few of them. Can't believe you got a drink out of that thing. If you hit the machine just right, it won't eat your credits. Take it from a master like me. Shit. And I think... I was thinking the bosses are named after food, but I'm only basing that off kale. Rekka, I don't know. Is, is that a food type? Well, if it is, I'm not aware of one. Unsent complaint, email draft unsent from Oscar. It's the Irish bot. To the HR department, I don't want to make a disturbance, but being that I am in charge of taking care of the production central garden, I am curious over the reason for its existence. Our ads tell people that it is for inter-office communication, but employees are requested to not go into the garden. This is confusing for the employees, since it is beautified but never used. Never mind the amount of work I and the cleanup team put into making it. I think he's gone into Skyrim mode. Anyway. Into Immaculate. Also, I am questioning the inter- And now he's Transylvania. The intent of the world's largest hedge maze inside as well. What's her name? The old Vandalay boss. Uh, Roxanne Vandalay? Are you serious, Chai? She built the company from the ground up. Know your history. Jeez, you the history of a fucking corporation. Oh, Who cares? Some combat now, please. No, I wasn't actually intending to do a challenge or anything, but that worked out. All right, this looks like a combat room. Uh oh. A big boy's coming out of there. There he is. Our low profile. Come on. on, this is more fun. And as long as Rekka doesn't. Hot hit it! Rekka he! That D bit was spotted in my building! Oops. I have hoping that any chump security get it so I can rip them apart. Peace, peace. Oh, sounds juicy. I thought you said she wouldn't be here. I thought you said this was more fun.
do they give me such unrealistic goals? They want me to lift the big boxes with these tiny hands. You're doing a pretty good job, Carrie. Maybe if you stop doing a good job, they'll stop asking you to do this. Better yeah. Broken part of okay, so extra V verb once we find enough of them. HR auto surveillance recording. Auto recorded dialogue converts to text from Vaser. Submitted to HR department for Vanderlei HR. Audibly paranoid tone. Well, finally got this whole room automated. It makes me think. Once this robot's finish automating the production line, what happens to our positions? Are you gonna lose them to some machines who automate better than we automate? But then how much more automatic can automation get? Am I getting scrapped over this? Robot solving sound continues for 25 minutes. Why did you program the robot to cry? Jai, bad news for your pride, but you won't make that jump. We'll see. Any ideas? 808 is feeding me info on your arm. It's magnetic, right? You should be able to hook on to that point. Okay, hey, cool. At how? Look for this icon for areas to grab the environment. Using Chai's magnetic arm, you can reach far away places or quickly close in on it. Oh, nice. Pressing LB. Okay. Well, what do I do with the guitar in my hand? Whoa! What happens to the guitar in my that hand awesome. while I do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
get there. No, don't get there. Can I please find a back route, maybe. Well, uh, looks like a path up through there. Yes. Does this really? This looks like a hole in the wall, but okay. A new attack. Guitar Ride is now available. Oh no. So now I have the ability to purchase a new attack. Oh, thank you. special attraction between you and I. Yeah. Um, what is it this time? Why are you so weird? Your magnet. It gets you where you need to go and fast. But it also attaches very easily to Vandalay security robots. Seems like a mistake. Should Use they the be magnet. magnetized? Also, if you manage to knock an enemy into the air, the magnet will bring you up to them quickly. What an amazing piece of technology. Dude, this arm was made for picking up garbage. That's not what it looks like from here. It's kind of amazing how uh, Devil May Cry 4 has changed so much of this kind of combat. Just with the Devil Bringer, it just changed it so much. The Devil Bringer is this whole grab onto enemies and pull yourself towards them or pull them to you kind of thing, and it's in a lot of combat things now. Wow, this is pretty good. Now, this will be cool to hang up in the hideout. Okay, how am I hanging up graffiti exactly? Girders, I can make the jump. Jump that again. Last time. Fuck it. I can make that jump, but I'm not gonna fucking waste my time with it now. Statues. All the glitters is gold. Attack Kale statues for a chunky gears. The more perfect timing attacks you perform will give you more gears before it's destroyed. Yeah, 
ますよねDo that. Do that. <laughs> hey, that's my life. I need some help out in the field. I hack these terminals and uh, can send you some upgrades from here. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's very DMC five. I like it. Right, I have enough. Yeah. What did I get? X, yeah. X, Y, X, X. Okay. That one. I haven't, I haven't done that one yet. Okay. Multiple spectrum. Our informant sent me code implying it's an AI. Apparently hidden in all Vandalay's Project Armstrong robotic parts. Oops. And what makes you so worried? My source said that, that Vandalay the music never is, kept the project going under wraps like that before. There's red flags all over this. <laughs> what? Have we made the what AI running around on some dark web? Huh? Into music? I trust my sources. You're sounding even more suspicious than Vandalay. Oh, Chai, just you know what? Yeah, Don't that's care. Progress. I'm out of here after this anyway.
awesome, guys. And that's when I taught Rekka everything he knows <laughs> about production. <laughs> Your tales are nothing but lies. Correct. Like you would know, you just cleaned the floor. What's that supposed to be? What do you do, huh? You just stand around and talk. Because they're being productive. Everybody likes a clean floor. Son of a bitch. Go with it. Let's not ask questions. Oh, this looks like fun. Rhythm jump pads. Here you'll gain extra height when jumping to the rhythm. Bob will let you know how many times you'll need to jump while in the air. Jump along with the beat hit timing. Oh, while in the air. Thought I had to jump, land, and like time it that way. Fuck, I missed a load of them. <laughs> At the risk of stating the obvious, please do not walk under the press machines when in use. I can't believe I even have to say this. <laughs>
Yeah, getting the timing is still kind of difficult. Still finding it hard. You can just tell how much Mimosa hates Corsica. Yeah, congratulating every department but security in her Armstrong email. That's a corporate slap in the face. Mimosa, Kale. That's Rekka and Corsica, though. I'm not sure what the commonality is with them. Down over D here. on just timing. Yeah. This is where you come in. I told you I don't have any rhythm, guys. So I need all of these things on screen to help me, and I still can't do it. Tramline issues to you all production from Rekka. Hey, Rekka here. First of all, what's with all these tramlines breaking down? Whatever the reason, the answer isn't. Doesn't matter. Fix it. Rekka didn't get. Rekka didn't get to the top by making excuses, Rekka got to the top by getting things done. Even if it doesn't make sense, take your opinions or facts or whatever and Rekka ain't no. Also this makes Rekka think we need more tram lines, I'll find some space. Hold up Chai, see that door? Sure. Might be able to bypass security on that one. It's a rough route, though. A lot of stairs. You know what? I like exciting. This looks like more fun. <laughs> Give me the stairs route, damn it. Oh, 
fuck. What button is A? Fucking Xbox. Good ways to do a transition there, right? Actually, no. Also, looks like you've been spotted. Hmm. Never gave you that impression. As far as you go. That's a problem. Tuck and roll, Chai. What? Splat. Some good transitions. No, Evil Within and Evil Within both had very good in-camera transitions. Well, I'm, uh, somewhere. We're actually pretty close to Rekka's office now. See? I told you it'll work out. Hey, Oscar, what's up? I've seen some good work and some bad foes in my time. And I must say, I'm impressed you are still alive, lad. <laughs> Me too. I should very much be dead. Ready for this, Chai? Ready for what? No. Shoot to destroy or activate object with Peppermint. Call Peppermint by holding this button to have her aim at the target. Release Sabre Fire. Here we go! Go get it, Chai! Whoa! How did you... Just a bit of temporal displacement. Kinda complicated. Not your lingo, but one of 808's hidden features. Yeah, you I... could have been here this whole time! <laughs> Didn't think you needed me, Mr. Confident. <laughs> Actually, I asked you if you were coming, and you specifically said no, but okay. Doesn't look like you can make this jump. But see that switch? I think this has shoot on it? Let me yeah. guess. Yep, call me in. I can activate those for you. Well, you, you could, give, like me the, you could give me the gun, also. Just saying. While holding, turn around, look. Yeah, let go, shoot. Try this out! So light him up! So Presumably, can she be used in combat then? Introducing the Arrow, weekly marketing company Blast Mail. Introducing the Arrow brought to you by Vanderlei. They said it couldn't be done, but our top-notch legal counsel, headed with a campaign by Mimosa, has allowed Vandalay exclusive rights as the sole owner of the Arrow. What anyone would consider a direction-pointing symbol. And whenever someone gets lost and you see an arrow, you can tell your friends that just yeah, that's not just an arrow, that's the Vandalay arrow. As such, to hold on to the image of the sole patent owner of the symbol synonymous with direction, I want to see that the arrow everywhere. No one will get lost on our campus with the arrow showing them the way. Like that. Try this out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where does it go? Alright, that's where it goes. Got it. That flawless timing. Come on, help. 
Looks like somebody got an upgrade. My time to shine. I can overload those enemy barriers, you know. Just call me in. Fighting with Peppermint. Use Peppermint to quickly destroy enemy barriers and stun enemies, giving Chai a chance to attack. Chai can't destroy barriers on his own, so you'll need to cooperate. Using Peppermint can help juggle enemies in the air and stun lighter enemies. Summer Peppermint by tapping in battle. No need to stop a name during battle. Peppermint will attack the enemy Chai is targeting. Who am I targeting? You'll need to wait though during battle. Okay. I don't understand. Well, that went better than expected. Of course it did. I was there. Yeah, yeah. Smidge, what is it? Analyzing your skills, and it seems like someone has altered your abilities. Have you felt any side effects, like someone temporarily appearing beside you? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's temporarily. Um, well, it seems very useful. You can pull this peppermint, being into battle to help with combos or distracting enemies. I can even tell this strange life form can keep airborne enemies in the air longer. Your Just battles seem ripe with possibilities. Yeah, but it's a lot all at once. I can tell. It looks like using it takes a bit out of you. You'll need to wait a moment before bringing this life form back into battle. Just take care of yourself, keep hydrated, and watch that partner gauge so you know when you're ready. Hey. Doesn't seem like she recharges pretty quick. It might be that, um, later allies. Maybe they take a bit longer to charge him? Hey, it's you! friendly fire on the magnet or on the mine I mean bullshit
You know, I'm getting... It's kind of weird. I'm getting a Ratchet & Clank vibe from the game. I think it's purely... It's the platforming. It's... The guitar kind of looks like a wrench. It's the hitting crates and picking up gears and that kind of thing. It just has a... The game doesn't play at all like Ratchet & Clank, but it does like it. I'm guessing this is a comeback when you have someone who can freeze things. Maybe there is something to do with replaying levels. Teamwork, it's great. Hey, buddy, just me. I assume you don't get anything for going over the meter. Pep up, Chai. We're almost there. Oh, well, I guess your whole get to wreck his office without her knowing plan is shot. Thanks to you. Hey, uh. hey, who is doing all the hard work here? Uh, it wouldn't be so hard if you just listened to me to begin with. Never. For all workers who haven't yet entered the lottery for Armstrong Festival tickets, now's your chance. You won't want to miss this show. Hmm. These pigeons are the source of my discontent. <laughs> I desire assistance in ridding of them from my cleaning area. Okay. You can help out, Peppermint. Come Peppermint. Come on. Here you go, buddy. Pigeons are too far. Perhaps distant force is required. Are there other pigeons? Oh. Peppermint, your turn. You called? That guy? No. Don't see the third group. I can't get back there now. Are too far. Perhaps distant force is required. Yeah, could you point them out though? Ah, they're there. Try this out. Try this out. My discontent is gone. This treasure is yours. Thanks. I do the work and you get the prize. How nice. You could always come out here and work. Ooh. Nice. Attention.
808. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ah. I, just, I, I don't know what's putting me off on the beat exactly. Because I'm playing, I'm actually playing a rhythm, I'm playing theater rhythm at the moment. It's a rhythm game as well. A lot of that is just focusing on effectively the bottom half of the, the not even the bottom half, literally the bottom of the screen. Whereas this is combat, dodging, and trying to stick to the rhythm. It's just, I don't know, I guess it's too much for my old man brain. Play it cool. Hello. Current waiting time for appointment with Rekka is three months. <laughs> You're free to have a seat until then. Uh, okay. I'll get right on that. There actually are seats. I wasn't expecting there to be seats. I know this may get me in trouble, but I think... That is the love of my life right there. Oh, unrequited love. Our work agreement for it. <laughs> Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Behind the showmanship, sit down with Rekka. Excerpt from exclusive interview with Vandalay technology production head Rekka. The output Vandalay has seen lately has been staggeringly impressive. It ain't enough. Well, I know, know how you compete with an, oh, an average 300% production increase every quarter for the past five years, Jesus. And you think that's good? Wreck will say it again, it ain't enough. That's why you're just writing articles and not standing where Wreck is. It was a compliment, Miss A- Did you just slap me in the face? Wreck sure did, and she'll do it again if you throw another miss in there. Just going around slapping report. Rekka does what Rekka wants. Once Project Armstrong takes the world by storm, you'll be asking for slaps just to get another interview. Bigger. Stronger. Is this promo for Rekka or motivation for the rest of us? I'm trying to make this a better place to work and look at you. Showing off. Is this MHR matter? Figures you don't see it. You think it's this our evil within them? characters. Nah. It's just a reminder. You don't have what it takes. The workers here need to Sebastian. know they ain't ever getting out of that hole they dug themselves into. Joseph. This world is sick, dark, sad. But we are supposed to help. Help? Impossible. We just mask the reality, give an illusion we care. <laughs> we can't change anything. The cards are stacked too high against us. This poster stays. It says the truth. Specifically, well, Sebastian is the protagonist of Evil One, Evil Within One and Two. Joseph is only in the first one. For reasons. You'll have to play the game and find out. <laughs> reasons are probably obvious at this point. Another one? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Who's making all these? Okay, I'm going through that door. Oh, look at this room. Pretty quiet. 
not suspicious at all. <laughs> you want to be successful? No. You want to be productive? No. Then you gotta be aggressive. Okay, none of these. If I'm the opposite of aggressive, will nothing happen instead? And when a defect punk like you wants to run out of here, you're just asking for it. Asking for what exactly? You disrespecting me? That's it. The gloves are coming off. <coughs> I can see that. Ah. What was your plan for this, Peppermint? <laughs> I don't know. Fight? Wasn't the plan for her not to be here, I think. <laughs> You're paying me double for this. <laughs> but I'm not paying you anything. Yeah, hey! double nothing. I'm the main show here! <laughs> so let's get ready to crumble. Come on! Well, I could already see grappling points in the arena. as I used it. See the wrong one for this boss fight. You ain't gonna ruin this company's rep. Okay. You're going out with the trash. Eric 
Fight. We did get up to an S rank there at one point. Oh. You're down for the count, big boss. You think I lose to a punk like you? Yeah, that sounds about right. Was not a good fight. Cool. Her personal pass key. Great job, Jai. Wait, you can collect things as well in the environment? I have the belt. Can we have the wrestling belt though. Whoa. It's cool look. This is crazy. Looks like we found our AI. This is a screensaver, Jai. <laughs> Wait, Spectra is designed to interface with user perception and reasoning? This gives Vandalay direct access to people's minds. <gasps> Would you make that thing stop? I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, okay. Uh, what did you just do? Made it stop. You said make it stop. Oops. All right, well, it's not Wolverine. Help, oh, we got our Marka, please tell bosses. Me dealt with the defect. What in the hell am I looking at? The defect. The name's Chai, not defect. Where's Rekka? Hmm. Oh, haven't you heard? I better start looking for a new production head. Yeah, give me the belt. Is this some sort of joke? 
Oh, now this is a juicy meeting. <laughs> He's on mute. <laughs> Zanzo, I think you're muted, honey. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Corsica, get your people to production right away. Oh, uh, y yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead, send whatever you want. See this? Peppermint and I are gonna kick your oh, ass with you your stop own stop using tech. names. Peppermint. And if that's not enough, check out my arm. I can make a guitar and slam it down. You idiot! Come on! I assume that's daddy. This is why you don't use your secret super secret code names. Or this is why you should have super secret code names. Not even an apology, Chai? For getting the job done? Are you that dumb? Now they know me. No, you're not acting alone. And... Oh, secrecy is blown. I have to rethink my whole plan. There was a plan? <laughs> what? Okay, I might have been on a power trip. I am sorry. But you got your data, right? Spectro? No. The data that said Vandalay can basically mind control you? I wasn't really listening. <sighs> Just check this out. This is not great posture for you, Peppermint, uh, having the keyboard up that high. Hey! Whoa, what are you... It syncs with Project Armstrong interfaces. Try it on yourself. This is an Armstrong tech. I got smudges on my arm. Ah, it's not coming off. And with just a simple command... Don't you think that you were right all this time and I'm a stubborn loser? Also, Peppermint is way cooler than me. Yo, oh, yo, what the... Still doubting? But you made me say that. How couldn't Vandalay have designed this for, you know, research or something? Only you wouldn't mm. find this suspicious. The point is, they can. And I need to stop that. Well, I wish you good luck. Chai... <laughs> <laughs> what? I have no idea how to get off this island and feel a little responsible for messing things up. Great. <laughs> You're hereby a member of my organization. Cool, cool. Our own little weird indie three-piece. Hey, uh, Chai, before you head out, I want to show you something I was working on. What now? First, I work on this. that <laughs> why are they all the way over there there are more reports now okay. it's the same oh yeah it's just it's just the stuff we've already seen okay this is the graffiti wall just taking pictures of them makes more sense than what i thought they were gonna do so it looks like I can modify just, just your energy source to micromanage your abilities. I don't need help. I know you want to be a rock star, but we need to work together. So, this is what I was working on. They're custom chips to boost some of your abilities. Okay. Sounds cool. Gems and, and such. With a few broken Armstrong parts, I can make you passive skills. I went ahead and made you one on the house. Cuts down the time needed to call me in during battle. It's all about you, isn't it? Yep. Ugh. Anyway, you'll need to equip these for them to take effect. Right now, you don't have many slots to work with, but with some upgrades, you can mix and match skills. So bring me back any Armstrong parts you find, would ya? I'll keep an eye out. What else do we got? Recovery item effect increases 10%. Battery item increases 10%. Meteor rise rate. Oh, uh, we don't have the currency for any of these. Peppermint shock advantage. Okay. Stone lasts longer. Partner attack. Okay, that's what I was looking for. 
can now purchase additional moves, so that's what the arrows on top of our bar meant. And landing a beat hit on a ground combo or T. Alright, this reverb requires reverb. Cat <laughs> spike, okay. Holding down or T, Barbara will hop on the battlefield and charge faster. Yes, let's go. Getting them into the air has been confusing. That one is pretty basic. Just yeah, just do this. The oh. how do I mash to the beat? Find out. As much as I like Guitar Ride, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't work well with bosses. It's fine for groups, but it's not great for bosses. It's the... do you want so you hacked into me with project armstrong what did you uh see in there actually i thought it was strange i couldn't see anything is this another one of your you're so stupid chai digs as much as i enjoy those no there's no data collection in this code so vandalay doesn't care about me personally unusual for a tech corporation all this seems to do is input information. This is all very suspicious. <laughs> right, Peppermint? <sighs> yes, Chai, it is. Hence, why we need more information. Crazy to see all the Vandalay top brass in one place. Well, minus Rekka, you can say. Uh, well, she was there. She was partially <laughs> there. She was there. And you sure made that known. Had to let him know who was in charge. They are, Chai. Don't forget that. It's us versus the entire company now. But they don't have us. What? Look, we're outnumbered. Just don't forget that. Really cool of you to, you know, hide the fact that you can teleport. Well, while you were smashing up production, I was here working out how to do that. So how does it even work? Like I said, it's complicated. Basically, whatever bond you created with 808 puts out a digital signal I can hijack. So that means you can teleport me back here whenever you want. You and 808 are the antenna, I just latch on. Doesn't work the other way around. Uh... But what if I were to stand next to a wall? Chai, just stop. Don't think too deeply about this. <laughs> what if I surround myself, right, in a room that is only four feet Four feet, uh, cuboid. If I could stand up in them. What happens if you teleport to me there? And there's a training room. Okay, I will have to go in there, I think. Can we replay levels? Must be maybe after you finish the game? I wonder if Peppermint's doing the I'm being nice to you but secretly pissed at you thing. She was being nice to us? I bet if you could talk, you'd see I looked pretty cool back there. Wait, on second thought, I want to get prepped. Okay. Maybe this is for... Okay, clearly somebody hangs out here, right? There's like a cosmetics area maybe over there. Somebody has a group here. And then I guess potentially somebody hangs out over there. Anyway, I think we'll call it there for today though. So, that was a quick look. Despite our um, technical issues at the beginning at least. That was a quick look at um, 
Hi-Fi Rush, available now on PC and Xbox, if you want to check that out. Uh, I have seen it appearing on sales as well, so I guess it's been out long enough for them to start doing that. I believe it is also accessible through Game Pass, if you have that too. Anyway, I am going to head off. Uh, tomorrow I will be playing more of Final Fantasy XVI, uh, so we, we will be continuing that. We are up to the point where we are going to face off with Titan, so that's what we're up to then. And then Sunday we'll have the weekly news recap and channel update uh, around 3 o'clock, and then after that we will roll straight into a original Final Fantasy stream, because we still have some things to finish off there in the end game. Um, as well as play a little bit of Theatre Rhythm, which is the music uh, the music rhythm game based on Final Fantasy music. Uh, and we're just going to play the Final Fantasy 1 songs that are part of that game. It's a bit of fun. Um, and then later that day, even more, it's going to be a busy day for me. Later that day, uh, myself and Melwyn will be playing It Takes Two, uh, cooperatively. All right, I'm going to head off. Have a good rest of your evening, and hopefully see you tomorrow for some Final Fantasy. Or Sunday for some Final Fantasy. Nice. Bye bye.